A new plaque commemorating the life and work of a lesser known but important figure in Hull's history has been unveiled. Sir William de la Pole has been honoured as the final subject of the Mayor's Centenary Plaque Scheme. Founder of the project, Mary Glue, explains more about him. He was the first mayor of our great city in 1331. And um, some may say rightly so, because he rose from an ordinary merchant into one of the richest men in the land. Very quickly, very rapid rise, became, as I said in my speech, almost the king's right-hand man. Certainly was funding all his military campaigns, into France, into Scotland. So um, with that, of course, William amassed a huge fortune and much of the land around here. So uh, yes, he was a very wealthy man, not just a merchant. We do know that as a royal financier and businessman, he did raise rather strong views. He got himself involved in two uh, major money-raising schemes for the Crown to raise money for the Hundred Years' War. And both of them, in the end, failed. And it's fairly clear that his contemporaries felt that he was a rather sharp dealer and didn't really trust him quite as far as they could see him. But clearly from a, from a whole perspective, he is a, he's a major benefactor. He's absolutely the right person to commemorate. Um, from a whole point of view, from a national historical point of view, and the fact that not all his contemporaries were part of his fan club doesn't at all take away from that. Um, he very much deserves his hundredth plaque. The lands behind me became the property of William de la Pole in the 14th century. He later established a hospital here. He was a man of considerable wealth. He also represented Kingston upon Hull in Parliament for a number of years during the 1330s and was made Baron of the Exchequer, a type of judge who settled revenue disputes and acted as one of the chief auditors of the accounts of England. So what exactly is William de la Pole's lasting legacy to Hull? I think certainly as the first mayor, um, you know, ensuring, and, and that he stayed in Hull. He was dedicated to the city, to the town then, King's Town upon Hull, and to its um, prosperity and the growth of its economy. A statue in tribute to De La Pole has been in place for over a century at the pier on Nelson Street. However, this new plaque adds yet another permanent testimony to a man who died some 652 years ago. Jack Muscat, Estuary News.